next hole. Number 10, starting off the back nine. And there's a nice dolphin ship over there. This is a pretty interesting hole here. Because you can do one of these things right here. You can aim towards this patch of fairway over here. Um, and then aim towards the green, which is off in that direction there. Or you could take the long way around. In this case, I'd recommend taking the long way around and just aiming for one of these regular patches of fairway, if possible. Because um, when you when you take your shot to the green from that island with the little cabana or whatever you want to call it over there, uh, you often have a shot that uh, is at an angle towards the green, and that and you don't have very much green to work with on your shots. So, you, so you're trying to come in at a really tight angle. See, if I were to come in from right to left on this shot. I wouldn't have very much angle to come at the green with. So with uh, this angle, I have a lot of green to run the ball with, and I can control it. Oh, shoot! Or, you know, I can put it right in the bunker. That works, too. If You know, because I mishit the shot. and Or it's not going to go in the bunker and just end up in the rough. I mispredicted that one, but I guess that's better than the beach bunker. Which reminds me, um, if you get it in those beach bunkers, the beach bunkers are like wet sand. And they um, are worse than regular bunkers. Dunk! Yay! Okay, maybe I'm not doing quite as well, but then again, I'm, I'm playing on a harder course than the other ones. But eh, as I said, my skills are more than enough to beat the tournaments without any trouble whatsoever. Eh, not to brag or anything, as I said before, that's just how I got in with Mario Golf, because I just got such a perfectionist level in Mario Golf, and yeah, this is going to be pretty far away, but with that wind, I just played it for a safe spot on the green. That's that's another thing with golf, is that sometimes you just have to play safe, but if you're going for an ultra low score, you just pretty much have to go for everything. Um, go baby, go! going to be a pretty tricky putt here. Okay. That was a short putt, but it was tricky because there was that such a steep and sideways uphill lie, which really makes the putt bend, but I judged it correctly. Okay, for this hole, you can either try and get it across there by using the fast fairway, but that's kind of risky because you might put, it, put yourself in the bunker. So feel free to lay up from that spot. Um, a layup in golf is basically playing shorter than what you could actually do for us as a smart play. Uh, again, more golf lingo from PK Gam. Oh yeah, you're gonna sound like a pro in no time. No, I mishit my shot. That's going in the bunker. At least I think it's gonna go in the bunker. Yep, just as I thought. Um, uh, maybe this isn't that bad of a situation. <laughs> I don't really have much of a landing spot. Um, er, ah. Come on, Birdo. Cross-dressing power. Oh, so close. I actually think that would have went in if I wouldn't have mishit it. I could be wrong, though. Nice well, it's another power. Wow, I am way ahead of the competition. And I'm only at four in the power. My best score for this course is like... 21 or something like that, I think. I could be mistaken. I, as I said, I haven't played in a long time. I, I don't even remember my high scores uh, with my best characters from the Game Boy Advance. <clears throat> um, you, if you had a character with a good enough drive, you could have played your drive off to this whale over here. But uh, even even if you play it over there, it's still kind of risky to hit the green from that angle. So uh, I would still recommend you play off towards the side unless you want to try and hit the green in two. Which, as I said, is one of those situations where you uh, are an ultra perfectionist. No! Um, you know, trying to get the lowest score possible. Uh, but in this case, I'm just playing it safe. Just playing it cool. Uh, you know, just putting myself in the bunker. Stuff like that. <laughs> And, uh, that was a pretty decent shot, despite all the run that I had on that ball, because of the low, uh, trajectory of it. And I think this is going to be a pretty easy putt. Yep, it's going in. Woo! By the way, if you didn't notice, on each person's ball, um, if you look very closely, you can see that each person, or each character in the game has their own symbol on the ball, which is actually a pretty nice touch. 
Um, it's it's kind of like how people mark their ball in real life, like with Sharpie markers and stuff like that on the course to make, to make it uh, so no one confuses their ball with someone else's ball or, you know, stuff like that. Oh, shoot, I pressed the B button to do a replay. I'm just going to press the E button to accelerate it through that. Um, so, yeah, that's that's actually a pretty nice touch there. And, and that's what I like about a lot of Mario games is that um, they have a lot of really nice touches to them, as I just said there, because it's like, they, it's, it's like they're cartoony and bright in color and looks, but they have so many little subtle details that you got to be really looking for um, to really get the most out of your gaming experience, to, you know, see everything there is to see. Well, I shouldn't say to get the most out of your gaming experience, but to see everything there is to see. That's, that's a more accurate analogy, so to speak. <sighs> no, I'm getting my power so... Come on, baby, I gotta get my birdies. I wanna show off some lead skills. Okay, this is a tricky one. There's fruit-shaped bunkers all over the place and fairways. Um, but the tricky part of this hole is to try, try and find a place that you can land the ball. That is typically the best spot that you can play with just about any character. Uh, unless your character can't drive that far, then you're gonna have to choose a further back spot, maybe use the fast fairway to get up to there, but if you don't get far enough, it'll be very hard to keep the ball on the green, uh, because this next shot is going to be downhill, and in this case, with the wind, so it's going to be even harder to stop the ball, and uh, that's okay, I think this is going to be an okay putt, yeah, this won't be too bad, I think I'll be able to get this on, come on, bro, Oh, what a rip-off! Powers for the loss! That would actually be for the loss if I was um, doing a really perfectionist score game. But, but I'm not, so nope. <laughs> um, for this hole, you can either play down here, which I don't recommend because of how uphill it is. But if you have to with a shorter drive character, play it way back here. Uh, so you get a, as much height uh, on your second shot as possible. Um, but if you have a character with a further drive, I'd play it here no matter what. Over here, next to this bunker. You won't go in this bunker where the uh, wind is pointing in this case. Ah! Oh, or if you miss the ball horrifically, or miss hit the ball horrifically, whatever you want to call it. Oh, uh, and that is not going to get me to the green. Yeah, I'm going to have some trouble here. Um, if I would have got on the fairway, I would have had a much easier chance getting on the green. But in this case, I'm going to have to hope for some luck with the top spin. Oh my god, I actually got up there, but it's going to roll in the bunker. Or it's going to stay on the fringe, one of the two. And I'm at the lower tier. Arrgh. No lower tiers. Lower tiers are bad. That's why. Just hard to judge them. Even with the, um, the judgment at the top of the screen, you know, the, um, height difference, like the 0.4 feet that you just seen up there, that was downhill from the hole, it's still pretty hard to tell. Oh, this hole is shaped like a heart. Isn't that cute? <laughs> um, this hole isn't really that hard at all, but it is a pretty nice novelty. Uh, holes because of the heart shape and stuff like that. Uh, just as long as you get it near the hole and it's either a downhill or uphill putt, you shouldn't have too much trouble getting birdie on it. Just like so. Uh, the last hole is pretty spectacular. Um, you'll see when I get to it here. Just look at this, baby. Star bunkers, star-shaped land masses with palm trees stuck in them. There's water and beach bunkers, there's moons, there's shooting stars, it's awesome! And it's also taken, it also takes place during a beautiful sunset. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm getting weird now. But anyway, you play your first shot somewhere around here. If you have a character with a further drive, uh, I recommend you play, like, somewhere around, like over here on this planet, if you can, so you have a chance at getting on the green in two. Even if you make a mistake and end up in the bunker on that where that planet-shaped spot is, um, it still isn't that bad because you could still get birdie from there. Because if you could easily hit up to this uh, second uh, patch of 
fairly over here. Oh no, please don't tell me it's going in the bunker. Dang it, how could I have done this? Ah, oh, poopers, scoopers. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I, I just keep giving away my birdies, don't I? Um, I'm gonna have to aim over here. And hopefully, hopefully it'll hit and go forward very well. And seriously, it's going in another bunker. <laughs> oh, there goes my six under par. <laughs> Cause I won't be able to make it in two now. Well, this is a disaster of a hole. I didn't play by my own rules. I should say play by my own tips. Um, hopefully I'll be able to make it in, uh, in two more shots. Up to the next tier we go. And that's an okay shot. I should be able to make this because I think it's pretty flat up here. And bogey. I finished with five under par. I still am pretty sure I won this tournament with ease. Oh, I'm such a sad dinosaur. 